We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to The Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and it's time for us to dive back into Battle Brothers, this time with a new flavor, a new seasoning, if you will. Blazing Deserts DLC is going to be out on August 13th, 2020. And again, of course, it's all by Overhype Studios, and the sounds that you hear are all from the, our boys at Breakdown Epiphanies. So big shout out and a special thank you to Breakdown Epiphanies for my outro music that you'll hear at the end of the video. And also for Overhype Studios for always taking care of me and letting me be a big part of their game and their game being a big part of the channel. So all that being said, I'm excited. I want to dive in. I know that it's like Southern Desert stuff. I know that there are supposed to be like new types of weapons and all sorts of stuff. I don't know the details. I don't know the specifics. I don't know any new starting things. I don't know what type of troops we're going to have. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. I knew that it was coming out. I wanted to be surprised. I want that first hands-on new experience, you know, the, the new game smell, if you will, and that's what we're going to do. New campaign. All right, it looks like we have a few extra things. Okay, Southern Mercenaries. Uh, Manhunters. And gladiators look like they're all new. All right, so what are the... Let's start at the bottom. What are gladiators? They are the hard start, apparently. You fought in the arenas of the South for years. First for your freedom, then for crowns, and finally to become immortal. What else does fate have in stock? Does it in store or in stock for you? Gladiators. Start with three experienced gladiators with good equipment, but very high daily wages. Legends of the Arena. Each gladiator has a unique trait in combat. Interesting. And the Glorious Three. You can never have more than 12 men in your roster. That's a bit unfortunate. And if all of your three starting men should die, your campaign ends. Essentially, it's a variant on Lone Wolf, it seems. Because, again, you can only have 12, and if your guy dies, he dies. This is the same thing. You can only have 12, and if uh, all three die, it's over. Also, it's interesting because they have a unique trait in combat. I'm very, very curious about that. Um, we'll also treat this as a sign-up video, guys and gals. If you want your name in it, throw your names at me, and I'll, I'll throw whoever's name in there that I feel like. I may even name stuff on my own. I don't know. It's totally up to you guys. I do enough stuff where you can sign up and do things. So, again, feel free. Also, guys and gals, the return of Nordic Warriors should be coming within the next week or so. So we'll get back to that regularly scheduled and doing what we do. I may wait until after the 13th to actually do that. That way, I, stuff's changing. I'll be able to, to meet easier and better deadlines that way. So, just throwing that out there. All right, so let's go look at the Manhunters. Constant conflict between city-states and nomads makes for good business. The bulk of your outfit are captives. Forced to fight to earn their freedom, and their ranks grow after each battle. That's fascinating. All right. An army of captives start with two manhunters and four indebted. Take up to 16 men into battle at once. Having equal or fewer indebted than non-indebted will make your men dissatisfied. So it seems like we have to have at least... We can only have seven normal guys, and we have to have nine, I guess, indebted. All non-indebted can whip indebted in combat to reset their morale and buff their stats. Interesting. And captives. Indebted earn 25% less experience. That sucks. And they're capped at level 7. Also bad. And they will also die if they get struck down in combat. Alright. I think I might try that one. Uh, let's see what the southern mercenaries uh, have to offer here. You and your small band of mercenaries have done the dirty work of small-time merchants for years, yet you're barely a step above brigands. You want to be bigger than that, you want it all, and the Gilder will reveal to you the way. A quick start in the southern part of the world. So basically, your, your normal start, so like a new company type situation, but in the south. I, I'm also tempted to do that, because I don't know what else is going to be, but the Manhunter sounds cool, so I think we're going to go that route. All right, we can name these guys whatever we want to name them. We're the Manhunters. How about uh, Man Eaters? Huh? It's totally different. That's fine. Um, the 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 men manly men, the the merry men, the merry men. Yeah, there we go. We you know you got to go a little bit old school with Robin Hood men in tights. Ooh, there we go. We'll just call them the MIT, the men in tights. 
There we are. Nailing it. All right, so let's see here. Uh, Late Game Crisis. It looks like there's a new one, a Holy War. What is a Holy War all about? The first Late Game Crisis will be a Holy War between the Northern and Southern cultures. If you survive for long enough, the following ones will be chosen at random. All right. Permit Destruction. Um, I'm going to leave that off this time around because I want to get used to stuff. And I'm notoriously bad at that. All right, so Men in Tights. What would be a good one for the Men in Tights? Mm. Mm. I like uh, some cool looking ones there. I don't remember seeing those before. I might just go with that. We'll see. Uh, and then we're back around. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, the first little weird swoopy one. That one. Alright, next... All right, I, I like to go, if I'm going to go, I don't generally play expert anymore, just because it, it just becomes too stressful. I can do it, but it just makes everything so much harder, and it makes me want to restart when things go badly, because I know how difficult it's going to be. So veteran, veteran's fine. I, I'm going to start with high funds, because I want to get moving. I won't do Iron Man, because again, it's a, it's a bad idea. Things can crash and cause issues, and I just don't want to run into that, so... And unexplored map, that's new. Uh, an optional way to play the game where the map is entirely unexplored and not visible to you at the start of your campaign. You have to discover everything on your own, which makes your campaign more difficult, but potentially more exciting. You know what? Let's do it. That sounds awful, and I'm going to hate it, but let's do it. Alright guys and gals, as always, I'm always excited to dive back in, hop into Battle Brothers, play it, have some fun. I got like a whole bunch of episodes still going from the Warriors of the North DLC that uh, haven't aired yet, that I have pre-recorded, and I'm still going on that. I haven't, like, finished that series at all, so we're, like, up to episode 80 on that, I think, recorded. So, crazy times all around. Constant conflict between nomads, city-states, and vagabonds makes for good business. Deserters, criminals, prisoners of war, and indebted alike flee across the land, and you, with manacle in hand, give chase. Despite the barren waste upon which they rule, the southern realms are home to large and ever-shifting populations, which makes uh, personhood itself a resource worth harvesting. The river-like flow of persons is a, as natural an economy as any raw material. Prisoners of war make up the bulk of your outfit, beaten men who must submit to and fight for another force, your own. Criminals in general riffraff fill in here and there, easy pickings from smaller villages, who don't have the means to handle their resident uh, reprobates, I guess. And then there are the indebted, hellfire doomed souls who must work their way back into the Gilder's gleam and find salvation through blood, sweat, and tears. While most must work as laborers, you favor pressing them into your company. The indebted will not protest, for even the priests state it must be within the Gilder's sublime vision that they will find penitence in the men in tights. Exclamation point, period. AB leaving the exclamation point in there was bad. That's fine. Everyone can earn salvation by working off their debt to the Gilder. Alright, we're just randomly in the middle of nowhere. At least we're close to a, a town. Oh, look at the art style. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's get, let's get after it down here. Uh, we're going to go take a look at who's inside of our, our group, too. What is that? I assume that's our food. It's rice. Okay. Um, okay, so... Indebted. 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 Not indebted. These are the two manhunters? Yeah. Uh, any of you guys proficient with, uh, like, ranged weaponry? Not really. All right. Gosh, they're so not good right now, man. This is looking rough. Just to start with. And they're on the front Oh, this is gonna be weird. I, I I don't I don't know how this is gonna go, man. I'm 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 worried. I'm concerned. That's different. Looks cool though. Look at the city, it's so cool looking. There's an alchemist. An alchemist offer exotic and quite dangerous contraptions. What a, oh what a, what a night owl elixir? This elixir, when consumed, brightens up night as if it were mid of day. Drink responsibly. It lasts for the next battle. Not affected by nighttime, so that's really good for... Overindulgence may lead to sickness. That's really good for, um... 
Archers. That's nice. I like that. Lionheart Potion, plus 20 to resolve. Very cool. A Cat Potion, 20 initiative. Fine. Smoke Pot. Creates a dense cloud of smoke when broken on the ground for covering movement. Interesting. It's only for one round, though. Oh, but you can also escape and get out of zones of control. Oh, that's cool. That's a pretty useful thing. Uh, another smoke pot. What is this? Fire pot. Three tiles. Set seven tiles ablaze. Ooh, burning them. And then the flash pot makes them dazed? What is this? A fire lance. 30 to 35. I feel like that's a decent amount of damage. It's a spear and a firearm? A spear, of the southern a spear of southern design with an explosive charge that will spew fire over two tiles when ignited. The charge is only usable once per battle, but it will automatically refill after the battle. What? That's awesome. What is this? Powder bag? Used for arming exotic firearms is automatically refilled after battle if you have enough ammunition. Huh. I'm... I'm very excited by this. Like, I, I'm real excited. We have a weaponsmith. Do, do we have a? Do we have like a gun? What? What is an arena? Arena offers the opportunity to earn gold and fame and fights are to the death and in front of crowds. Eh, maybe not right now. Temple. Weaponsmith. These are the weapons that are available, huh? Throwing spear. A bundle of javelins. I mean, we don't have a lot of options here for us. I guess the best thing we can pick up is the, the militia spear, but. Let's not do that. Let's check out the marketplace first. Uh, stuff is pretty expensive here. Even the food's expensive. Alright, we can get some... Alright, let's see what we can actually acquire here from hiring. Walid the Scorpion. What is he? He's a nomad. What does, what does that make him? Has some expertise in fighting. Another nomad. Uh, who are you? You're a day tailor. I might get you. And Hugo the Tracker. He's a beast slayer. We have a shepherd as well. Uh, I'm probably going to get the this guy and the shepherd. Wait, we can't. We can only get one. Because we need to get indebted. Oh, oh, we can, we can hire an indebted. Oh, that's great. Okay. Okay. I think that's fine. Alright, let's go take a look at our crew now. <sighs> we'll put you back here, Mr. Shepherd Man. Uh, Alright, what? You're the day tailor? Okay, we're gonna get you a ranged weapon as well. This is gonna be so strange. Carl the Bull. I, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of dead people. I'm just letting you know right now. There is not gonna be a, a large quantity of people surviving this. Just, just kind of an FYI for you. Um, quiver of arrows. Do one of these. Do one of these, probably. Maybe a pitchfork. Are these like large? Not oh, these are swords. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I spent all my money. What did I? What was super expensive? Oh, the the sword was more than I thought it was going to be. Oh no. Well, I don't think it's uh, going to cost as much, so we're okay still, but it's a bit worse than I was anticipating. All right, who's got some? Who's got some melee chops? This guy, Mutar the Deserter. All right, Mutar, going to give you this. I'm going to give you that. I guess you're going to get the spear. Um, you're the learned, are you? Well. I guess we're gonna have to strip down some of our other dudes to give uh, the clothing to the frontline guys. He, he just doesn't even have a shield, man. Come on. Get a net. Um, I guess that's fine. All of these guys can still whip, which is funny. Uh, or, I mean, it's not really funny, but it's, it's a thing. Um. Maybe we'll put the this on you.
I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um Yeah, something like that that might work. I don't I don't know. Oh boy. Alright, so hopefully there's some easy-ish missions that we can do, whether it's whether it's just going about and uh, delivering something, drive off nomads. I'll need some time to think. What is my other option here? Uh, seize these roaming monsters. 312 crowns are done. Uh, you know, I accept that. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the nomads. It sounds like a safer ploy. And we don't really have a lot of options available. Though that is a more expensive thing. I don't know what's going to happen, folks. I guess we're going to find out. Maybe we can run into some random bandits along the way. Like I said, we don't have a tremendous amount of money. Or a tremendous amount of anything, really, so... Well, let's see how all this plays out. I don't know. I'm excited, though. Okay, hold on. What's going on now? Some nomad cutthroats and a nomad outlaw. That sounds about five people? Maybe six? <sighs> Hopefully this is okay. I mean, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Like I said, six. Okay. Oh, God. Look at him. That's not great. Gash. Oh, it's got a 10% chance to hit. Okay. Alright, I guess we're gonna wait. <laughs> it ignores armor, gives them the whip status, increasing many of their stats for two rounds. The higher the level of the character using skill, the higher the increase. Alright. Oh, I, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this at all. I am quite concerned. That dude makes me so scared. Alright. That did not work very well. Alright, can we cut this guy? Yes, we can. Alright. Uh... I think I'm gonna crack the whip. Do I choose like everyone or oh it's just him. Oh okay. Let's pull his weapon. Oh, that's not even gonna happen. Come on. Hey, we hit somebody. Sweet. This is not a good thing. Yeah, this is this is so scary. I mean, maybe we can win a morale victory, but I, I have my doubts, man. Step up, try to stab this fool. It's not happening. Uh, how far can I net? Fairly far, but not really far enough. I'll try to net him. There we go. Alright, stepping up and just laying into us. What? Did he just kick sand in my face? What was that? Oh, 70%. Come on, man. Yeah! What happened? Alright. I'm gonna try to at least cut. I, really? 63% and I failed twice? Yeah, dude's throwing sand in my face. What does that do to me? This character was on the receiving end of a dirty trick, distracted for one or more turn. They are slower to react and have a harder time landing clean strikes. Oh my gosh, that's deadly. Or devastating, I guess. That didn't work at all. There we go, we landed something. Um, uh, I don't... I, I guess I, I don't I don't know what we should be doing right here. Oh, we, well, we hit him. I feel like this might end very poorly for me. Jeez. 
This does not feel good. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, even through the net, he's just like, I don't care. You netted me. What does that matter to me? I'm just going to own your face regardless. Like, that's horrifying. I don't... Like, this is insanely difficult start. Like, we may have to restart altogether. This might be the shortest season of all time, guys and gals. Like, I know that our front line is not supposed to be the strongest thing in the world right now, but my god, they're weak. Like, look, they're just getting absolutely obliterated. I can't even pull the weapon out of the guy's hand. He's dead. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, look, they're all freaked out. They're ready to run. Oh, he just got beheaded. Oh, my God. This is nightmare fuel. Oh, I can't I can't whip somebody from over there? All right. Oh, I, I killed somebody. I don't think that was even supposed to be possible, but it happened. That didn't go well. Suck it up, princess. Uh, you. Suck it up as well. Nope, that didn't work. He broke out of his, uh, his webbing, his net. Oh, man. Oh, oh, he freaked out. We even stunned him. Oh god, he's gonna kill my archer though. Yep. What a what a nightmare this is. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's so weird. It's such a weird start. Oh come on man. Can somebody, like, just do anything right? Like, come on, guys. Oh, my God. There we go. Jeez. You knew you knew that he was going to... No, no, we got to run him down. If we can maybe capture that guy. Maybe. Maybe he doesn't escape. And he doesn't get to do cool stuff. That's it. We're, we're exhausted after that, huh? Foom. He didn't quite make it. Alright, I've caught up to him. Now he's really got to struggle to try to get away from us. He's doing it though. My god, this man. This man's has got some skills. Uh, we keep trying. We're all so tired. Shouldn't he be exhausted by now, too? I feel like the answer is yes. Well, that's a weird choice. Oh my goodness. Can I just switch and then maybe we can punch him? Slow him down? It, it's, it's a long process. We're winded, we're old people. We're trying to catch back up, oh my god man. There we go, finally we hit somebody, and he just kind of stopped himself from being able to escape, I guess? I mean, not completely, mind you, but he did a pretty good job of uh, getting himself cemented in here. 
Somebody has to thank goodness. Oh my gosh. All right, Mutar is gone. Hamden is gone. Sabti is gone. Carl is gone. That is a lot of deaths. That is a large amount of deaths. Uh, they had they had six people. We had what is this? Uh, we had nine. Oh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. But we got a new dead sexy hat, so I'm pretty happy about that. Two of them, in fact. A bunch of shields and swords and stuff. I mean, it is what it is, right? It is simply what it is. The surviving man scrambles away from you. He's muttering something. You can't hear it, but the language is clear nonetheless. He knows who you are and what you are. Take him as indebted to the guilders so that he may earn his salvation. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So we at least got our ranks up a little bit higher. I mean, it's it's something. It's not great, but it's something. All right, I'm surprised that our northerner was the one that uh, kind of succeeded there. Let's go ahead and put this on you. I'll give you a, a shield. A very nice shield, too, actually. There you go. Put you on the front line. I'm going to put a shield on our boy here, even though his uh, stamina is... Uh, I think I'm going to give you the spear. Give you a shield. I'm going to give you this hat. I'm going to give you this hat. I'm going to give you a shield. Actually, since you're sitting on the back line right now, buddy, you don't you don't need the shield. Oh, you know what? We have never mind. We have room for it. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, the shepherd. I we we lost the the quiver, so we can't give him that yet. I'm gonna give you this, and I guess we're gonna take the shepherd's uh, stuff there and give that to you. Oh, what a what a raggedy start. What a raggedy start. But you know what? We've started. It's all good. We'll see if we can continue from here. Like I said, worst case scenario, it doesn't work out. Maybe we start back on easy. Like there's a lot of different factors that I'm throwing into the mix here that we haven't had before. The the new area, the new enemies, they can kick sand or throw sand in my face to distract me. That's a weird thing. It's not a bad thing, but it's weird. Um, we don't know what the map looks like, and by the way, the map looks massive now. Like, even bigger than before, which, you know, makes sense, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited. This is good. It's nighttime. We managed to get some money, but it's nighttime, so, you know. Anyway, folks, I think what we're going to do is we're going to camp. We're going to rest here until it is daylight. We're going to go in, we're going to see if there's anybody new and available yet, which I'm going to doubt. And, yeah, there's not. And, um, yeah, that's, maybe we can find some sort of armor? It's a little bit of armor laying around, not much though, honestly. 75, 60, 20, we can do like a 155 here. Maybe? Something like that. Yeah, I didn't realize how expensive the sword was. I I was just like, oh, cool. And, and I realized, oh, no. What what hath I done? All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to throw that into the mix as well. What are you using? You're using the 50. I guess we can give you the, the stuff. What is this stuff called? The lin linothorax. Okay. Uh, sackcloth for you. Sackcloth for you. We're going to give you the thick nomad robe. Because we are kind to you. You know what? Since you're the shieldy boy, I know you're you're not supposed to be trying to keep these guys going. Um, but I, I feel like it's better that you have a sackcloth than having nothing. Or having the heavier armor where the front line can use it more type situation. Alright. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to break off this very first episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it's, it's crazy. There's a lot going on. A lot to kind of figure out. Wait, what is this? Retinue. See your retinue of non-combat followers that grant various advantages outside of combat? And upgrade your cart for more inventory space? What is that? 
We can have a donkey! Or maybe we already have a donkey. A mercenary company has a lot to carry of equipment and supplies. By using carts and wagons, you can expand your available inventory space and carry even more. Buy a cart for 5000 A locked seat. Oh, I love that they finally added the non-combat units. This is something I've been talking about for years. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I, I'm excited, folks. I am so happy. Anyway, guys and gals, it, it's, it's all dropping on August 13th. You guys can pick up the game, play it, enjoy it, love it. Well, you can do that with Battle Brothers anyway. That's available now. There's several DLCs out already. And unlike a lot of games, and I will say this, unlike a lot of games that nickel and dime you with baby little tiny upgrades and this and that small stuff here and there, they've done a few, I think maybe one, maybe two free um, DLCs. I can't remember exactly. Um, so you got a little bit of content there. And all the other DLCs have quite a bit that they added to the game that they've changed and made better and improved upon. So it's not like, oh, look, we have a reskin of this. Oh, look, we've added blood. Oh, look, you can play as this one particular class now. There's, like, new starts. There's new units. There's a new area. Like, there's a reason to get the DLCs for this game. That's why I, I'm wholehearted, full support of Battle Brothers. It's been a game that's been fantastic on my channel and has done super well for me. And it's one of those games where I was amongst the very first... Actually, I was. I was the very first person to ever cover this game. So it has a special place in my heart. Anyway, guys and gals, check it out. Grab the new Blazing Deserts DLC on August 13th. And, yeah, mad love and respect to Overhype Studios and to the soundtrack makers themselves, Breakdown Epiphanies. Until the very next episode, guys and gals, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, share, do Long Division, whatever it is you want to do. Um, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show. And always remember that we play, we fight, we conquer.